Hey there everyone, Dr. Beth Westy here, and I want to talk about carbs. Uh, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I, uh, I love carbs, so I want to talk about carbs, because I love carbs. Um, when you talk about carbs, this is something that I get questions on every day, left and right, tons of different questions. What's the deal with carbs? I cut out carbs. I cut carbs down. I thought I'm not supposed to eat carbs. Sugar is bad for you. It makes you get fat. It messes with your blood sugars, blah, 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 blah. Um, all these other things that can be wrong with eating carbs. And let's just, let's just clear this up right now. You need carbs. Your body needs carbs. You need carbs for mental focus, for energy. You need carbs to upload hydration into your cells. You need carbs to upload protein and absorb the maximum amount of protein. Your body needs carbs. Now, if you have the problem with carbs again, historically, so some of this is in my book, The Female Fat Solution, where I talk about carb cycling and I talk about the history of nutrition. Ugh, don't get me started. Everybody remember the food pyramid? Everybody remember the food pyramid and what's the big serving on the bottom? Anyone? What do you need like 11 servings a day of? Carbs? Oh, wow. That's a lot. <laughs> That's a lot. You don't need that many servings of carbs a day. Just a, just a note. Mm -hmm. No, you don't. But uh, carb cycling, I love, um, I've talked about that before. The female body has a different body each week of the month. So sh shifting your nutrition for that is important. Um, I've talked about carb cycling in a podcast the episode that I put out recently. So if you want to know more about that, there's tons of info there. But the biggest thing that I hear from men now is that they have to cut out carbs to lose weight and to get progress. Hi, Sheila. Um, and it's just not true. It really isn't. And your body needs carbs. And as long as your metabolism is working for you, you are going to burn the carbs that you eat. Mm -hmm. Yay! And you're going to be a happier person. Why? Because your brain is going to be working better. And your brain likes carbs. That's how your brain works. Carbs. So, and I got really into this topic, actually. So, I'm, like, literally eating blueberries right now. Because I got a bunch of them at Costco. Who else loves Costco? I love Costco huge thing of organic blueberries because they're delicious and look at this like just delicious big plump blueberries and I'm snacking on these and I'm like this is a fruit right this is a carb and these are things that people are cutting out and I'm like this is ridiculous blueberries are delicious eat blueberries but there's so many people who are afraid to eat any type of fruit I talked to a gal I'm not kidding she was like oh I haven't had fruit in three years because of the sugar Fruit is so important for fiber, for nutrients, for everything. Yes, buddy, you can finish off the blueberries. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he's eating the rest of the container of blueberries. You're cleansing it and making you hungry. Sorry, Sheila. <laughs> um, but one of the things that people get kind of confused on is, oh, are, are all sugars are bad. All carbs are bad. Blah, 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 blah. Well, carbs do have categories of sugar in them, right? So carbs, it includes, oh my God. Okay, so my kids were clearly using my markers. <laughs> Sucrose. And this is going to be glucose. Fructose. Now, these are naturally occurring sugars, right? There's going to be like dextrose, maltodextrin, right? Um, oh, whoops, I just got that on my hand. These are the naturally occurring things, though. So when your body breaks these carbs down, it's going to break it into things like glucose. But sucrose is like table sugar. I've done I've done other videos on this, if you're wondering. Um, fructose, which, again, I don't know if you can see on here. There's a weird glare um, here. Fructose, there we go. Fructose here, that's just fruit sugar, right? That's your fruit sugar. It's not, it's not bad. Now, there are some sh fruits that have more sugar than others. Uh, so blueberries, strawberries, raspberries, berries in general, really low on the glycemic index. Are there sugars in them? Yes. But is it going to really spike your blood sugar and cause all these negative reactions? No, it's really different. Apples are relatively low, pears, things like that. Fruits that are actually highest are going to be things like watermelon and pineapple. Again, but is that bad? No, it's not bad for you, right? There's also important uh, with, the sh with the sugars that are in here... You also get hydration from your food. So you're helping your body get and stay hydrated because you need sugars to hydrate. Ah! <laughs> so that's 
that's part of the carbs. You need carbs. And if you're incorporating carbs on a regular basis, your body's going to be able to process them. When you cut carbs out of your diet and you don't eat carbs, you lose the ability to process them correctly. Your body has certain enzymes, right? Like your digestive system, your stomach and everything releases these enzymes to break down the food and nutrients that you eat. So if you cut out carbs, your body's like, oh, I guess I'm not going to need to make that anymore. Right? Guess I won't pump out that enzyme for you because you're not eating it. Then say you go to um, out to dinner and you're like, oh, I'm out to dinner. I'm celebrating. I haven't had a carb in a month or six months or whatever. I'm going to have just one serving, just one thing. And you're going to feel like you gain five pounds from it. Yep. Because your body can't break it down and it's going to be really disruptive on your system. So it's important that you continuously have sugars and things. And this also goes for um, products. This includes things like, uh, like protein shakes, protein bars. You need carbs. You need carbs in them. Please, for the love of God, eat carbs. Eat carbs. So this is going to break down quicker and easier, right? This is a fructose. But pasta, bread, potatoes, rice, quinoa, cor- corn. Corn is a grain. Corn is not a vegetable. Corn is a grain. (laughs) So it's a carb. (laughs) I have this conversation with people a lot. So that might be new for you. If it's new for you, please share this video because corn is a grain. But these are, these are all carbs that are going to give you energy. Now, of course, some of these carbs, like if you're having a bagel, you're going to get more energy from that bagel a little bit longer than you are from blueberries, right? Because there's not a lot of calorie, there's not a lot of, you know, a lot of carbon here. They're just, it's just lower. Fine, right? But that bagel is going to give you more sustained energy for a longer period of time. So pair it with more protein. Great, right? There's a lot of different things that you can do to gently and slowly incorporate carb into your diet and to keep it there, to keep your metabolism going, and to keep, give your body, continuously give your body the ability to process those carbs. Although, again, like I said, you lose that, that ability, And then your body will shut down and store everything. It just stores everything you eat from carbs. So my favorite way to incorporate that back in again is carb cycling. So I take women through this in my 12-week program. Uh, I'll put a link below if you want to schedule a call, if you've got questions. If you've been doing no carb or low carb for a really long period of time, please schedule a call and chat with me. There's, It's going to be life-changing to be able to eat carbs and burn those carbs correctly life-changing, life-changing. So I'll put that below, but this is the process I take these women through in my 12-week program, and it gets amazing results when you start to really incorporate carb cycling the way that it works. It really allows your body to increase metabolism and burn carbs at a super high rate. It's super exciting, and my favorite thing about it is you get to eat carbs. (laughs) Yay! Okay, so that's what I got for you guys tonight. Please, please, please let me know if you have any questions. You can comment below. Um, like I said, schedule a call if you've got questions on anything. And if you found this helpful, I would so love and appreciate you sharing this video because it helps me spread my mission and message of educating women more and more on nutrition, things that you can do to take your own health into your own hands and advance it forward. So that's what I got for you guys tonight. And I will see you later.